All right, and we are live. Welcome back with Murphy Mac to another episode of the Fitness Beginner Podcast, where we help you get started on your fitness journey. What's up, folks? Hope you all are having a blessed day so far. Guess what, y'all? It is peak week. It is finally here. The week I've been waiting for for a very long time. You may be wondering, what is peak week? Well, in bodybuilding, they refer to the week of the show as peak week, and they call it this because this is the week that you get to peak your physique. Like This is the week that you make or break your physique. You get to add those final, final little touches, little finishing, little things you got to add. Um, basically, at this point, all the work's been done. Like All your, your workouts and cardio and all that, basically, I mean, you're still going to work out and do cardio, but all, of, all the work's been put in. You're just fine-tuning things at this point, fine-tuning your your uh, posing routines and things like that. So it's like putting the final, the final polishes on things, and that's what they call peak week. Um, there's a lot of strategies based around peak week and different things you can do. You'll hear of some people dehydrating themselves and then loading up with carbs, carb loading before the show. I mean, there's all kinds of different strategies you'll, you'll see. And that's kind of what we're going to get in today. We're going to talk about what I'm doing for peak week, how I'm preparing, how I've been preparing for my bodybuilding show this whole time, like what I've been doing training, diet, things like that, and then kind of what are my plans after. So I literally have no script today. I'm just going off the dome, so y'all bear with me. I don't know how long today's podcast will be, but I figured it'd be cool to kind of update y'all on what I've been doing on the journey I've been going on for these past, like, six months, really, since March. So it's been the longest ride. It's been the hardest ride that I never want to do again. <laughs> I'll put it that way. But, um... So yeah, it's it's peak week. My show is this weekend, August 24th. It's the Alabama State Championships in Gaston, Alabama. If you're curious, I will be competing in the classic physique category. I know I already did a kind of a bodybuilding episode talking about bodybuilding in general, but this episode is specifically going to be about me and what I'm doing in my show, my first show. So yes, this will be my first show. I am natural, so this is not a natural show that... Um, there probably there will be people that are not natural that I'm competing against, but I mean, it is what it is. I mean, there's a lot of people that compete natural and unnatural shows. That yes, they do have natural shows that you have to like get drug tested and take a polygraph and stuff for, but this is not one of those. Um, yeah, I'll be competing in classic physique. I'll be doing true novice, which means true novice is your very first show ever. You've never done a show before. I'll also be competing in novice, which means you're kind of like an amateur, like you've Competed before, but you didn't win. You, you're you not ready to go up to like the next level. And then I'm also competing in open. So open is like, it's open. Like everybody competing in that one. But they have them broken up by weight class, by height. So my height, my class is up to 5'9", which I'm 5'9", and up to 195 pounds, which I'm nowhere near that. I'm 162 pounds. I weighed 162 point something this morning. So yeah, I'm way below my weight cap. So I ain't got to worry about making weight. Um, when I first started the, my prep, I was at 185. So I've lost over 20 pounds, whatever that 185 to 162. What's that? 22 pounds, 23 pounds, something like that. So yeah, I've lost a good amount of weight. I'm sitting at about the same weight that I was when I did my Ironman last year, but my, my physique looks totally different. Like I look, I have way more muscle on my frame this time around, um, less body fat. So I would say it looks better, obviously. Um, uh, but I was training for two different things. So that's why my body will look different. It's kind of crazy to think that I've went from two different extremes within a year of each other. So I got down to really small during my Ironman training, but I lost a ton of muscle. So I was, I had, I was a lot smaller, but now I'm around the same weight, but with a lot more size. So my body looks completely different than what it did when I did Ironman. So that's pretty unique. I, I, I was at like, I remember I was at 186 when I started Ironman training and I got down to 160. And then I was 185 when I started my bodybuilding prep, and now I'm down to 162. So I lost a little more weight here in the Ironman, but that's because I lost a lot of muscle too. So yeah, we'll start with what I've been doing leading up to this week. And when I first started out prepping, I started in March. So I've been doing it since March, shows in August, so that's about six months. I started out bulking at first. I was eating a ton of food six times a day, eating lots of protein, eating your basic bodybuilding diet. So chicken, chicken, beef, turkey, rice and uh vegetables that's about it that's what i was eating for a while i was eating a lot of it tons of carbs and we just slowly so i, I bulked for about a, a month or two and then we once we got about i don't know three months out maybe 
I started just slowly working those down. So like every week we would lower it, just taper it off a little bit at a time. And then we started adding in cardio. So at first I was just doing some quick, like hit cardio, nothing crazy. But then as we got into like actually dieting and trying to lose weight, we started doing the Stairmaster and I also started doing the treadmill. So for a while there, I was doing the Stairmaster and the treadmill in the same day. I was doing 40 minutes at a time and that was absolutely brutal on top of my working out. But finally we have dialed that back and now we're just, now it's it's peak week. I'm just doing 30 minutes on the treadmill. Like that's it. Super easy. Uh, You really, peak week really is just letting your body recover to get ready for the show. Because at this point, like I'm not going to build any muscles. So it's it's no point trying to, you don't want to be sore on stage. So no point trying to kill myself. But yeah. So basically I was just doing like a normal training training like i normally would building up to this i was just eating super strict like i wasn't eating no sweets no junk food super strict on my diet like eating six times a day two to three every two to three hours and i just was super strict on it super strict on my workouts and cardio and i did that for months and then past probably eight weeks we've really been dieting like really really super strict um so yeah that's kind of my food never really changed my food's kind of stayed the same the whole time the only thing that changed was the quantity. So like my food just get, kept getting lower. I'm still eating the same foods. Chicken, I eat chicken, turkey, ground beef. Uh, now I'm barely eating any rice. And then now for peak week, instead of any vegetable, I'm eating asparagus. So only asparagus that I'm eating this week. Uh, so yeah, my workouts are different this week though. So Sunday I did legs, which is a normal leg workout. That was like my last super hard leg, uh, super hard workout. And then this week I'll do Monday, I'll do chest, just pretty easy, not easy, but like still kind of challenging, but just enough to get like a good pump, pump some blood in the muscle. Um, but not as long as workouts, not as hard, pretty, pretty easy for the most part. So Monday I'm doing chest, Tuesday I'm doing back, Wednesday I'm doing shoulders and arms, Thursday I'm doing chest and back, and then Friday is a rest day where I'm just gonna practice my pose. I'm not gonna actually work out that day. That day is gonna be for recovery because I have to go do the check-in for the show and get my tan and all that. So no working out Friday, just posing. Uh, and I'll be posing throughout the week too. Like every week, every day of the week, I'm posing. Trying to eat, posing any chance I get. Any chance I get, I'm posing. Really once or twice a day for a good a good little while. Uh, I practice my posing. But yeah, that's how my workouts will be. They'll be pretty light. Just doing like four exercises or so just to get a good pump. Nothing crazy. Not trying to get sore. I really don't want to get sore for the show. It's just a pump. Uh, blood in the muscle to kind of give it that stimulus to to make sure you're still holding on to that muscle and your body's not uh, burning it off because your body's in a calorie burning state right now because you're not eating much food so your body's gonna try to burn whatever it can to survive yeah, that's, that's how my workouts are going my food i don't know honestly what my coach is going to do with as far as my food goes um i think my cardio will stay pretty much the same just a 30 minute walk each day nothing crazy with the cardio food i don't know Right now, my food has been, for the past two days, it's just been uh, either chicken, rice, or broccoli. I mean, not chicken. Either chicken, broccoli, or ground beef, and then I'll just have like 50 grams of rice and like six asparagus with each of those meals. So it's basically what I've been doing. So I'm assuming it's going to stay like that throughout the rest of the week. And then as we get closer, I will start to carb up. So I don't know exactly when. my coach. It's either going to be Thursday or Friday. We'll start to carb load a little bit eat some more food. So I got some things like I got some rice cakes. Uh, I got some some cereal. I got Rice Krispie treats. I got honey. Um, what else did we get? Just like little quick things like that or quick carbohydrates that your body can digest really quick to kind of fill your muscles full of glycogen to kind of fill them out. So that'll be closer to the end, end of the week, like Thursday or Friday, we'll probably start doing that. And then I'm assuming like Tuesday and Wednesday are probably going to be about the same. My water intake, I'm drinking two gallons of water a day. Tons of water, two gallons. Yeah, I know it's 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 a lot, but it's doable. I mean, I've done it every day. It's not that it's not that bad. You just got to carry a water bottle with you everywhere you go. Uh, as far as sodium goes, I'm eating a ton of sodium. So if you don't know this, drinking too much water can actually dehydrate you because you're giving your body so much water and not enough electrolytes. So I'm actually eating a lot of sodium as well. So a lot, I'm putting salt on my food. I'm also using some little electrolyte packets the element packets you ever heard of them they're really good they're full of uh, electrolytes so i've been i've been using about one of those every day so sodium's high water's high right now so a lot of times people will manipulate these um i don't know exactly how 
coach is going to do it just yet because it's kind of a day by day thing. Like your coach, I send a check in every morning and my coach looks at it and adjusts my plan based off how I'm looking that day. So it's very, it's very day to day based. And then as we get closer to the show, it'll be like hour to hour. Like I'll be sending check ins every few hours, every, every meal or so I'll be doing it. So that way he'll know like how much sodium to add, how much water to add, things like that. I'm also taking a lot of vitamins. So I'm taking 10,000 milligrams of vitamin C every day. I just spread that out throughout the day. I'm taking ashwagandha twice a day. I'm taking uh, a vitamin B complex three times a day. I take my multivitamin just once a day. Um, what else am I doing? I think that's about it. Supplement with a little calcium here and there. But yeah, I mean, sodium and water is high right now. And that's pretty much how my peak week is going. Uh, so I'm doing the training. Cardio finally tapered off. I'm only doing cardio once a day now instead of twice a day like I've been doing. Not doing the Stairmaster. Now that we did legs on Sunday, I'll be off my legs for the rest of the week to let them recover. Try to let all the inflammation go down in my legs as possible. Just to get ready for the show because I'll be on my legs walking around and stuff so they don't need any more stimulus than that. But yeah, I'm trying to think of what else goes into. Oh, uh, one thing I wanted to hit on was um, just my mental state during the, during the prep. I think I've already touched on it a little bit in a few episodes ago, but it's been a struggle. Like, this has been hard, really hard. One of the hardest things I've ever done. Um, I did the Ironman last year, and I thought that was pretty hard. But I would have to say, after doing the Ironman and then doing this, I would say this is by far harder, way harder. Um, it's just very, it has its ups and it has its downs. It's very mentally challenging because you, you don't have a social life. There's no such thing as a social life on a bodybuilding prep because everything you do revolves around food. Everywhere you go, you're taking food with you or you're not eating the food that's there like any kind of event like i was just at a birthday party sunday and i couldn't eat anything so it's it's miserable like you have no social life you don't do anything and then once you get in real prep you don't want to do anything you have no energy you feel terrible you're running on low calories like you have just enough calories to to work out and do your cardio and honestly that's not even enough like your, my workouts have sucked they've not been good i don't want to be at the gym don't want to go no motivation like it's it's horrible. It's hard. Like, and I've learned over prep that I have way more energy in the morning. So I'm making sure I get everything I need to done first thing in the morning. Like I get my workouts and I get at least one cardio session done in the morning. Like absolute. That's a must because I know later in the day it's gonna suck if I have to do it then. It's it's miserable. Like the lo the longer the day goes on, the worse I feel. So like right now, I have I've been feeling bad like this afternoon and honestly. You probably noticed the past few episodes I haven't been very energetic or, or anything like that. You can probably tell just in my mood that I'm not the most uh like energetic and have the most energy. But I don't know. Hopefully y'all will y'all will excuse me. Y'all understand what I'm going through. Hopefully next week we'll have a little energy, a little little vibe about us, but we'll see. Um honestly it took everything in me just to get on this podcast right now and talk to y'all. That's why I didn't even do a script. I literally said, I'm just gonna go off the dome. We gonna just talk about the body, the bodybuilding show because I don't feel like coming up with the topic. So I'm sorry if you wanted to hear something <laughs> not about me, but yeah, that's why we're here. At least I showed up, provide some some value, and talk about my bodybuilding show with y'all. Just just keep y'all updated in case you're curious about what I'm doing, or if you want to do one yourself. If you want to do one, I'm not trying to discourage you, and I don't want to tell you not to do it. I would definitely say do it at least once. Like it's one of those things you should do at least once if you really want to do it. But if you want to do it, like you got to really want to do it if you're going to go through with it because it's it's hard. Like It's going to challenge you. It's going to push you. It's going to make you want to quit. You're going to want to give up. But I will say I had not uh, cheated on my plan, nothing. Like I've done it 100%. I'm one of those people like once I get my mind on something and I decide I'm going to do it, I'm going to go all in and do it 100% because I know if I, if I do it and then I fail or I don't do it to my standard, I'm going to be mad at myself. So that's why I ain't going to cheat myself. I'm going to go all in. Like, I'm not cheating on my diet. I'm doing my workouts. I'm doing my cardio. Like, I hadn't missed. And now that we're at peak week, I'm definitely not going to miss. Like, we're too close now. I can do, I'm, what, five days away now? I can do it for five more days. I've been doing it for six months. So just uh, just be prepared if you're going to do it is all I got to say. Be ready because it's going gonna, it's gonna to smack you in the mouth. You got It's going to be tough. But, yeah, definitely say if you want to do it, try it. It takes a special kind of person to do it. Um, and it may be for you. Like you may like it more than me. I just don't believe it's something for me. Like I don't think it's something that I want to do again personally. But other people love it. Like there's some people that do it for a living. Some people do it all the time, and that's their thing. But just me personally, I don't think it's my thing. I don't, I say that 
I'll end up doing another one probably, but and then I'll regret it then too. <laughs> but I, don't know. I said the same thing during my Iron Man prep, and I already want to do another Iron Man. Like I've already decided I'm gonna do one. I don't know which one I'm gonna do yet, but and I know there's a point during my Iron Man prep that I didn't want to uh, that I wanted to quit too, and I was saying the same thing. So we'll see after I get off stage. We'll we'll, we'll I'll update y'all next week on on where I'm at and what I'm feeling on the show. We'll see. Um. But yeah, it's been it's been a roller coaster. Like my energy comes in waves. Like I'll be good one minute, and down in the ditches the next minute. Like I'll be so dead, and then I'll be good again, and then I'll be so dead. Like right now, I got a little little burst of energy because I get to get on here and, and talk to y'all and, and chit chat on the podcast, which I like doing. So that kind of gives me a little energy. But just before this, I just got done meal prepping. Like I was cooking more food, trying to get ready for for the week, so I have meals prepared for tomorrow. Um. So yeah, I think we hit on the we hit on the cost. On the last episode, so I'm not gonna hit on that again. But just know it's expensive too. If you want to do one, you better be prepared to spend some money just on the food. Like you, better, you gonna spend a lot of money just on food because <laughs> you're eating so many times a day. But I'm scared that I'm gonna develop an eating disorder after this because I've been craving food for so long that after after the show, I'm just gonna binge. I'm gonna eat so much junk. I already bought so much junk. I bought these big old brownies. They're like half pound brownies, and they have a I bought a four pack of different flavors from a company called Buckeye Brownies. They're like a bodybuilding thing. And I already bought like they just came in the mail today. I ordered them and they come in today. And I'm just going to keep them in the freezer until the show. And when I get off stage, I'm going to absolute munch on them things. Y'all best believe we're going to tear them things up. And then I also bought some of those peanut butter things. So I don't know if y'all ever heard of them, but they got like gourmet peanut butters with like different mix-ins and stuff. You can get, they're freaking delicious. If you ain't ever had them, don't buy them because you'll be addicted to them. But I already bought some of those too. They on the way to my house too. So we're gonna be snacking. We're gonna eat any and everything. I don't even care. You'll if you watch people online, they'll tell you don't binge after a show because it's gonna create bad habits. But I don't even care, man. I've been dieting for six months. I'm finna eat me some junk food. You best believe. It's probably gonna make me sick. I'm gonna eat so much food. I'm gonna be sick. And I, but I don't even care. I'll deal with it. It's been six months. I haven't had fast food. I haven't had candy, chocolate. Junk food, nothing. No peanut butter, no Nutella. Another thing I was thinking, I was talking to my wife the other day. I haven't had cheese. I hadn't even had cheese. You know how bad I want some cheese? I saw somebody make a grilled cheese the other day, and my mouth was just water. And I was like, man, I really would like to eat a grilled cheese. Like, that would be fire. You, you don't realize the little things that you miss out on. Like, I ain't even had milk. I ain't had milk, nothing. Like, no steak, none of that. Like, any things you would eat on a normal basis. Nope, ain't got none of it. So I'm looking forward to it, but I just got to get to Saturday. I ain't gonna lie. I was struggling today. I've been hungry today, um, but we're going to get through it. We're going we're gonna to push through. We're going to fight and it's going to be all, it's all going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it. At least, at least I can say I did it one time and I gave it my all and I showed up on stage my absolute best, my 100% best package possible. And I won't regret it. Like I'm not going to be, I'm not going to regret it, but I probably won't ever do it again. <laughs> so that way I can, it's it, like I said, it's a bucket list thing. I can mark it off the bucket, bucket list and I can move on to the next thing. But yeah, I've, I've I've learned a lot. Honestly, like working with a coach, my coach is super smart. He knows what he's doing. So I've learned a lot about nutrition, learned about a lot about uh like manipulating the body, how you can manipulate all the different um ingredients and foods and things like that and different um hormone levels and all. I I've learned a lot. Like I pick my coach's brain like every time he tells me to do something, I ask him why. I'm like, "Why why you got me doing this? Why you got me doing that?" and he'll explain it. So I've I've learned a lot through the process, which is pretty cool which I get to take that on forever and use that in my own fitness journey. And I can spread it on here and, and let y'all know so y'all can uh, y'all can learn too. Yeah, it's been a cool experience. I'm trying to think what else. What else has played a role in the in the thing? I'm ready to just get back to having like a normal life, like a normal social life, like being able to go out and do stuff. Just go to a restaurant. Like I haven't been to a, re- I haven't ate out at a restaurant in six months. Well, actually, I did one time because I took my wife out for her birthday. But other than that, I hadn't done just like normal stuff. I take meal prep containers everywhere I go. I eat six times a day. Like, I'm ready to just eat three times a day. Eat normal meals like normal people. I ain't gonna lie. I do like eating six times a day because your boy is always hungry. So, like, eating six times a day is kind of nice. But I mean little bitty meals, like little bitty small meals. They don't even fill me up. I'm ready I'm ready to just eat a meal and feel full. Like, I want my stomach to be full. Like, I just want that feeling. Because right now, when I eat my meals, they don't. I don't get full. So, I'm just ready for, like, little things like that to be back to normal. Um... Uh, you take those things for granted because you get them every day and you do them every day. But when you start having that, you really miss it. So I'm ready to 
have a normal life again, have a social life, be able to go out and do things, be able to eat dessert or sweets or something when I'm out or at a at a get together or something. Another thing is it takes a toll on like your relationship. So if you're married, you better go ahead and get your wife prepared or your husband prepared ahead of time. Let them know what's up because it's gonna take a toll. My wife hates this prep because not only can I not do nothing, but she can't do nothing either because we we normally do things together. So it plays a toll on her too. And you're just not in a good mood. Like I'm not in a good mood. I'm always in a bad mood. I don't want to do nothing. I have no energy. I don't want to go nowhere. Um, so it, it it affects her too. So just just be aware of that if you're gonna do one, because it's gonna affect the people around you as well, your relationships. But as long as you let them know this ahead of time and prepare them for it, then it should be okay. But you can get through it, I promise. It ain't that bad. I'm trying to think what else what else is there to talk about? My plans after. My plans after the show. One, I already told y'all I'm a binge. I'm a binge eat. I know that's not good. And I would never, ever, ever tell y'all to binge eat, ever. Don't binge eat. I'm going 100% against my my philosophy on here. But the only reason I'm doing that is because I've been dieting for six months. I've lost over 20 pounds. I think I can. I think I have a few pounds I can spare. I have a few pounds I can put back on and be okay. Uh, I'm single-digit body fat right now, super skinny, probably skinnier than I should be. So I, I can afford to eat some extra calories. So that's why I'm going to binge. But do not, I will not recommend it to any of y'all. And I'm not going to binge for a month after. I'm going to do it for a day or two, you know, a week maybe, and then get right back on to my, my normal stuff that I was doing before. So it's not like I'm going to keep doing it forever. I'm not going to create keep that as a bad habit. The other than that, I'm going to switch up my training. So I'm not going to do the same training style I'm doing right now. Right now I'm two days on, one day off, and I'm doing like a bro split bodybuilding type training. I'm, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do just yet for my training, but I'm probably going to go... I want to tone it back to like four days a week just to let my body rest a little bit. And I think I'm going to do an upper body, lower body split. So I'm thinking like Monday, upper body, Tuesday, lower body, take off Wednesday, maybe do like some cardio or some agility stuff or something easy on that day on Wednesday, like a recovery day. And then Thursday, go back to upper body, Friday, back to lower body. So it's upper body, lower body, off day, upper body, lower body, and then be off on Saturday and Sunday. Like I'm ready to have my weekends back. I've been working out on the weekends. For six months now and I'm I'm tired of it. Like I'm ready to just chill on the weekends, get stuff done around the house. And I'm gonna go hard on the YouTube. Like I'm trying to get back into my YouTube videos. So shameless plug, y'all go follow me over Murphy McCammon on YouTube. Subscribe. I'd appreciate it. I'm making fitness content over there. Um right now I'm just been recording my bodybuilding prep. So if you're if you're curious if, to learn about like what I'm doing from day to day, like a day in the lifestyle, I've been making some videos on there. Y'all check it out. Uh, just Murphy McCammon, my name. That's my YouTube channel. I also have a YouTube channel for the podcast called The Fitness Beginner Podcast. Y'all subscribe to that one too. But yeah, hopefully I'm going to go back to a normal training schedule, normal diet, eating not six times a day, eating like my normal like three meals and with some snacks and stuff in there. And y'all know I have a bucket list, but I don't I hadn't decided which bucket list item I'm going to do next. I'm really, really thinking about doing the Spartan Race next. I really want to do this, the Spartan Race but I'm going to give it a while. I'm going I'm to take some time off after the show uh, to not train for anything for a while and just go back to a normal life before I start something else. So we'll we'll give it a month, a couple months or so, if that, until I decide what my next crazy adventure is going to be. I went from the Ironman to the bodybuilding show, and I'll probably go back to some kind of endurance. They have an ultra Spartan race. It's, I think it's 30 miles, and they have like 60 obstacles. So I'm thinking about doing that. That, that sounds kind of cool. Or maybe start training for the, another, the next Ironman. I don't know. We'll see. I hadn't decided yet on what it is. So more, the goal is just to go back to a regular workout plan, regular diet, and just kind of maintain and let my body heal and recuperate for a little bit. And then we'll adjust from there. I'll keep you all updated on the podcast what we're going to do. Um, other than that, I don't really think there's much else to let y'all know about the, the bodybuilding prep. I will update y'all next week on how we did for sure. Hopefully, we bring home some hardware. That's the goal. I'll be I'll be in three different classes, so I got three chances to bring home some hardware. So hopefully, we can we can bring home at least one first place. That's the goal. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. But no matter what what place I come in, I'm gonna be happy because I know I showed up 100. percent Like I gave it my all and I did everything I could. I can't help it if I show up 100 percent and some giant dude shows up next to me. And he beats me because he's bigger than me. I can't help that. But as long as I know I gave him my all and I I showed up 100% with my best package, 
then I'm going to be satisfied with that. And so far, I've done that. I got five more days to to show up, and I'll be good. So yeah, super proud of this journey. Like this has been the hardest thing I've ever done. I'm the most disciplined I've ever been in my life, 100%. Like hands down. If you if you're in a slump and you're trying to get disciplined and you're trying to get yourself out of slump, do it. Do a show because you ain't got no choice but to be disciplined. You ain't got no choice but to show up, to not miss, to hit your meals, all that. Like you don't have a choice if you want to do it right. And I, it's helped me a lot. Like I've I've done like everything to a T. So that being said, we're going to end the podcast here. Sorry for rambling on so long. Podcast actually went a little longer than I thought. Go ahead, leave a review, subscribe to the podcast at the Fitness Beginner Podcast on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you listen to your podcast at, leave a review, subscribe. I appreciate it. Tell your friend about it. Tell your mom about it. Tell your dog about it. Whoever you talk to on a normal basis. I don't know. But yeah. We'll update y'all next week. Until then, y'all be safe. Y'all have a great day. Peace, love, protein. 